right, hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. All right, I wanted to jump on here real quickly and just share with you my thoughts of what we have coming up on the channel, this channel, 20th and 21st Movies, for the month of July, 2024. Yes, we are wrapping up the month of June or if you're watching this after June, half the year has passed by. So it's amazing how quickly time Flies. I keep saying this every month. I'm just reminded of how quickly the days go by and just how we have to cherish every single day. So half the year is in the books. We got another half to go. And now it is time to share what is coming on this channel in the month of July 2024. Of course, I'm really excited about this Barnes & Noble 50% off Criterion Collection sale that is underway that started on June the 28th. So that is exciting stuff. And we plan to have some coverage on this channel of that very thing, the Barnes & Noble sale. I've had a chance to do my first uh, pickups uh, the other day, uh, actually yesterday, as of the time I'm recording this, and I'll be sharing that on the channel very soon. So definitely look for you know my first pickups of this Criterion sale. And we'll do some other coverage of the sale that's going on at Barnes & Noble this month on Criterion titles. Of course, in the theaters, uh, I had a chance on Thursday night to see A Quiet Place Day One with Lupita Nyong'o and Joseph Quinn. Double thumbs up on that. Highly recommended. From what I understand, it's overperforming at the box office and is fighting Inside Out 2 for that number one position. So it'll be, it'll be very interesting to see how those box office numbers shake out. My guess is that Inside Out 2 will probably edge out. Um... A Quiet Place Day 1, uh, but we shall see. We shall see. Uh, but really enjoyed that. But this coming week, and one of the first videos on the channel for the month of July, is going to be my impressions from the theater of the Ty West Mia Goth film, Maxine. So I am so excited about this film. This is the third film in Ty West's X series starring Mia Goth, starting with the first film, in the series X right here, followed up by Pearl, which is like a prequel film. And then Maxine is coming up here as the third film in that series. And I definitely want to do some reactions to that from the theater of Maxine. But then I also plan to do in the month of July, a live stream on Ty West trilogy of films. So it'll be on, on X, Pearl and Maxine just want to talk about this trilogy of films and just how incredible uh, they are and this incredible trilogy. So I will look to do a live stream on Ty West's X trilogy during the month of July. So that is coming up. And then, of course, there's a film that has been talked about very highly that was in the theaters a few months ago that now is getting a 4K release in the month of July, and that is Civil War. It's getting a 4K release in the month of July. I plan to pick that up and I definitely want to experience that film and share some thoughts on Civil War on 4K. So I have not seen it, but I've heard great things about it. Heard it's a really good movie and I'm very much looking forward to checking out Civil War on 4K. And then of course, during the month of July, I plan to do a number of reviews of Criterion Collection titles. Of course, during the sale, many of you are thinking about, hey, what are some titles that I should consider adding to my collection for this sale. And so what I try to do is I try to build up, you know, a number of reviews to just share my thoughts on these titles that may or may not be, well, hopefully will be helpful to you in thinking about what titles to consider for this sale. Of course, I have a playlist on this channel of over 130 Criterion Collection reviews. Definitely check out the link to that playlist in the comment section here or in the description of this video. And let me know what you think of those reviews and let me know, you know if those reviews are helpful to you in deciding, is this a film for me or not? Is this something I wanna add to my cart for the collection? But definitely check out those reviews. There's probably a number of titles that you're considering um, that have been reviewed on this channel. So definitely check that out but there are probably at least four Criterion Collection editions that I plan to put a review out this month on the channel, including for Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. 
So I'm looking forward to picking up that, picking up that 4K release here as it's coming out this coming week on July the 2nd. So I'll do a review of Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. I'll also do a review of the 4K upgrade of Les Samurai. And so I'll, I'll talk about how the 4K uh, compares to this Blu-ray edition. This is the Jean-Pierre uh, Pierre Melville film starring Alain Delon, Les Samurai. This is from 1967. Fantastic film that's getting a 4K upgrade. So I'll definitely share my thoughts on that. I'll also share my thoughts on how the Criterion Collection Blu-ray compares to the now 4K upgrade of this title. So we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Blue Velvet 4K to the Blu-ray, similar to what we did for Days and Confused, The Fisher King, and a number of other titles, Blood Simple, a number of other Criterion Collection 4K upgrades. So definitely we'll share some thoughts on Blue Velvet. And then of course, we'll also share some thoughts on the Criterion 4K of Risky Business starring Tom Cruise. So that 4K is coming out on July 23rd and I definitely wanna share thoughts on Risky Business here on this channel, 20th and 21st movies. So those are just a few of the Criterion Collection Blu-ray and 4K reviews or 4K reviews I plan to do this month in the month of July but I'll try to get a few more reviews in as well to, again, help you figure out and decide which titles you may or may not be interested in picking up in this current sale. And then, of course, you know, Taste of Director series continues. We just put out uh, a live stream on Taste of Ingmar Bergman films, which was basically a combination of talking about Ingmar Bergman films, but also given that this is um, this is going into the month of July, the Criterion Collection sale going through or up until July 28th, a great time to do some uh, recommendations for the sale. And of course, there's a great place to start with Ingmar Bergman. He has a ton of films in the collection, including Ingmar Bergman Cinema, that wonderful box set that if you are someone that wants to explore a director and you're open to foreign cinema, you want to you know, explore Ingmar Bergman films, great way to do it is do that set. Or it might be someone who is like, you know what? I don't know if I want to splurge and spend that much, even at half price for that set. But I would like to sample a few of, you know, one, maybe two of his films in separate editions. And so maybe you decide to pick up the Seventh Seal or Wild Strawberries or what have you and do that separately. That's another good way to go. Or you may check out some of his films on the Criterion channel before deciding to get that Ingmar Bergman set. However way you wanna go about it, it's definitely a great opportunity to, opportunity to explore Bergman's films. So we did that in the month of July, we're gonna do a taste of M. Night Shyamalan films. So that's coming up in the month of July and that is a great time to do it because in the month of August, he's gonna be putting out his new film, Trap, starring Josh Hartnett. So I'm looking forward to that film. And then of course, toward the end of July, we'll come on here again, similar to what we're doing right now and give a preview of what is coming in the month of August. So those are the things that I have planned for the month of July. Uh, summer is heating up. It is 90 plus degrees, <laughs> you know, here in North Georgia these days. Uh, I'm sure it's probably hot wherever you are, uh, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're here in the United States. Um, it's been pretty hot these last uh, several days, so definitely uh, stay cool, stay safe. But let me know what you think in the comment section about this planned content. Let me know your thoughts and your feedback. As always, uh, welcome your thoughts and your feedback. It helps to make this channel better. And this channel is what it is because of you. So I appreciate you appreciate your watching and I definitely read your comments they are very helpful to me you know for example uh, recently I had a video come out where I was showing some titles that I recommended uh, for the sale and the focusing wasn't particularly great at certain moments uh, it would be I would show a title and the and the focus would get blurry so it wasn't particularly great at certain moments. And so a couple of the viewers, you know, just put a nice little comment in there saying, hey, why don't you make this adjustment to your camera settings? And it was really helpful. So I really appreciate that kind of feedback. 
hey, if the, if the video is not looking a certain way, if the audio is sounding a little funny, let me know and I will work to make those adjustments to make the experience the best that it can be for you. So I really do appreciate your comments. But I hope you all have a great, great summer as summer rolls on. Stay safe, stay cool, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. God bless you. Peace.